Hi, I'm uh, Dr. Kenneth Schroeder. I'm a gastroenterologist at Mayo Clinic. I'm here to discuss a recent report on the uh, use of balloon dilatation for strictures uh, caused by Crohn's disease. Uh, treatment for Crohn's type strictures usually result is from is uh, performed by surgery or more recently by balloon dilatation using endoscopes. Uh, the endoscopic approach to this is effective uh, in many situations, uh, but the long-term uh, results are not always uh, as clear. This particular report looked at a total of over a thousand patients that have been reported in a total of 25 different studies, so a large uh, number of patients, but over a long period of time, dating back from uh, 1991 to about uh, one year ago. <coughs> Uh, they looked at the <clears throat> initial results of being able to pass a scope through a dilated stricture as well as the <clears throat> symptom results and then also the long-term results when patients have been followed out to a period of up to five years. Uh, in general, they found that the uh, ability to pass the scope through a narrowed area that had been dilated was quite good with about 90% of the time being able to pass the scope. Uh, symptom response was a little bit less, uh, around 70% uh, of patients would have improvement symptomatically after dilatation, but when followed out for a period of up to five years, the findings were that about 75% uh, of all the patients who had been treated still required surgical treatment uh, for this uh, stricture. Uh, Comments I would make about the study are that first it's certainly encouraging to see that the initial results are good uh, and that it is reasonable to consider this option for treatment of these type of uh, strictures. Uh, it's a bit um, disappointing to find that the results weren't as good long term. However, it should also be pointed out that the report did not give any data on the concomitant use of drugs that might now be commonly used, such as the biologics, as in Remicade, Humira, or Simsia, for example. Uh, and so we don't know what additional benefits those kind of drugs used in conjunction with endoscopic balloon dilatation might provide. Uh, this uh, is currently but would be the most common approach to combine these sorts of therapies.